Hi guys, Elliot here from the product team at Soundcraft and welcome to chapter 9 of our UI series tutorial videos. Today I'm going to be talking about the automation system and recalling shows and snapshots on your UI console. The UI series has a comprehensive automation system that allows you to load up an entirely different desk setup at a touch of a button. Parameters such as channel names all the way up to AUX send levels can be stored as a snapshot into the console. The automation system can be split into two sections, a show and a snapshot. We can look at a show as a folder that contains snapshots. A show could be band name or venue name or date maybe, but a snapshot could be things like song names or maybe an interval setting, such like. The show menu can be accessed and managed from within the settings tab on the L1 navigation section. If I press the settings button here, and then select Shows on the L2 tabs. I'm now in my Show menu here. This is your central hub for show and snapshot management on your UI console. This left column houses our show files and contains options for deleting a show down here, like that. Our left hand column here houses all of our shows on our console. And we have options for deleting a show, like this exporting a show onto a USB stick, importing a show from a USB stick onto your console here. I can rename the show here, type in a new name, create a new show right here, type in the name, and there it is. And I can load a show by selecting a show, like my default show here, and pressing load. Or I can also do that by double clicking a show here. This right hand column features all of our snapshots that are within the selected show. So here I have corporate event X selected. And over here you can see these are the snapshots that I have saved within that show. If I select venue X, I can see the snapshots that are within the venue X show. Now around the edge of our snapshots column here, I have a few options. An option for loading a snapshot. I can do that by highlighting band one here and then pressing load. Or I can just simply double click the interval and load a show like that. I have an option to save a show. So this will save the current settings on the desk. I can either save over interval now by just pressing the OK and replacing interval. Or I could just create a new snapshot. I have an option to rename the selected snapshot by selecting the snapshot, pressing rename, type in a new name, no worries. And down, down here, I have an option to delete the selected snapshot as well. On this page, we also have an option to reset the mixer back to factory defaults. This will reset all of the settings on the console for things like EQ settings and fader positions, but it will retain all of your shows and snapshots to be recalled later. We also have one more button on this show menu that's quite interesting. It's called the channel safes option here. Now what the channel safe does is it isolates a channel from a snapshot recall. So let's say for example, if I return here, I go into my corporate event, I load my acoustic act. If you can see here on the far right channel A, I have a presenter. Now this channel is present on all of my snapshots, but as you can see, the fade level is at minus one dB on my acoustic act show. But if I load my presentation, it's now gone down to 13.3 dB. And now if I select speech, it's at minus 9.6. This channel has been stored as different positions in each of my snapshots, which may have been okay for sound check, but I'd rather have full control of this fader throughout the whole show. So what I can do is I can isolate this channel from my snapshot recall using the channel safe button. So if I go back to the show menu here, Go to channel safes. Now, if I select channel eight, that now isolates channel eight from our snapshot recall. So now if I go back to my mix page, you can see here I can rate, I can move from my presenter mic, no worries. Get to the level that's good. Load the acoustic act. I can load the acoustic act, no worries. But my presenter, the level, has remained the same. Now if I go back to presentation, you can see it hasn't been changed. 
And this is good for those moments where maybe you've set up a channel in a uh, sound check and it's okay. But when the showtime rolls on, you feel like uh, you need to make some on the fly adjustments to that channel. If you exclude that from the snapshot recall, you won't have your settings reset every time you load a different snapshot. Once a show has been created and is full of snapshots, we can gain quick access to the Q recall on the level one navigation tab up here. You may have seen me use this earlier on. If I double click that, you can see I have a list of my shows on the left and my snapshots on the right. So I can, now I can quickly just double click my way through this menu to load my shows and snapshots.